Good day and peace be with you. Today is Wednesday, the 9th of March 2022, the seventh day of Lent. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for waking us up this morning. Today our prayers come from the words of Psalm 33, verse 22. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. You are our portion when we are spiritually, emotionally or physically weary. We choose hope, Lord, in this current world that we are in. And with that choice, we know that your love surrounds us. Praise you, Lord, for your unfailing love in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our reading for today continues from Mark chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. And the theme is, your sins are forgiven. Let us listen to the word of the Lord. A few days later, when Jesus entered Capernaum, the people heard that he had come home. They gathered in such large numbers that there was no room left, not even outside the door, and he preached a word to them. Some men came, bringing to him a paralysed man, carried by four of them. Since they could not get to him, since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus by digging through it and then lowered the mat the man was lying on. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralysed man, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some teachers of the law were sitting there, thinking to themselves, Why does this fellow talk like that? He's blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? Immediately Jesus knew in his spirit that this was what they were thinking in their hearts. And he said to them, Why are you thinking these things? Which is easier, to say to this paralysed man, your sins are forgiven, or to say, get up, take your mat and walk. But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So he said to the man, I tell you, get up, take your mat and go home. He got up, took his mat and walked out in full view of them all. This amazed everyone and they praised God saying, we have never seen anything like this. Here ends our reading for today. Thanks be to God. Beloved in Christ, share the good news with others. Bring others to the joy of being in Christ. Have a blessed day. Amen.